Hi guys, it's Gage. This is part three of the series Coding Your Own Amazon App. In this episode, we're gonna be building our own API and then displaying that on the web using the data that we got in part two. So here is the our script so far. Last time we were just printing all of our data from that day's orders. But now in order to put this onto an API, we ideally want to save this to a file. So we're gonna first make the data look a bit nicer. So we're gonna round all of our uh, variables. So total cogs, we're gonna have round total cogs and we'll have to two decimal places and we'll do the same for sales, profits, uh, orders is already going to be an integer because ROI is round to we'll do no decimal places and then we will add a percentage to the end. Awesome. Now let's save this to a file. We'll call this results.json and we will dump all of our data into this JSON using json.dump and we will close that file. So essentially what that's doing is just saving the data that we're already retrieving into a nice JSON file so that we can access it later in the API. So let's run this now. So as we can see, our script has just completed. We have got all of our data here that it's printed out and we should have a file now called results.json. And we open it here and we see we've got our total cogs, sales, profit, units, orders, and ROI here, all nicely formatted for us. So now we've got that file, we can use an API plugin called Flask. So you just wanna do pip install Flask on your terminal. And we're gonna import Flask and we're gonna import all of it. That's the star here. And this is kind of our base for our API. So we have app equals Flask and then at the end you always want app.run and then put a port here. I always use 777. Honestly, no idea why. Uh, so we've got our API root called get stats and our method is get. You can use various different API methods like get, post, put, but for retrieving data, typically it's get. Uh, but if you wanted to do it in post, no one's gonna stop you. So first let's make a password for our API so that no one can actually access our stats without having the password. So to do that, we can just do request.args.getPassword. That will tell us if anyone has used in the URL password equals something. We'll make our password password. So if password is equal to password, then we'll proceed and then we'll have else return invalid password. So if the password's correct, we obviously want to open our results file, results.json in a read format. That's what the R represents. And we'll load it with JSON. Uh, I will import JSON here. And we'll close it. And then all we need to do is just return the JSON of the results here. So because we've got Flask, we can run this and it will actually host a, a local web page for us. And the URL for that is here. So we can just copy and paste this. And we'll go here. So if we go here, it's gonna say not found because we're not using the root that we've just set up slash get stats. So we'll do slash get stats. And now it says invalid password because we haven't specified a password like we've done here. If we now specify our password with question mark password equals to password, it brings up all of our stats, our ROI, COGS, total orders, all on a web page. But now if you try to access this web page from anywhere else except from your own network, this wouldn't show up because this is hosted locally. You could actually access this on your phone or any other device that just has to be this network. If we wanted to actually push this onto the web so anyone on any network can see this, we're gonna use something called ngrok. So this is a free tool you can use. Uh, it's a very, ins very simple installation process. You just copy two commands that I've already done and we've got a deploy your app online here. So we'll copy this and then we need to head over to our terminal. 
we'll paste in the command. We do have to change this last bit here to the actual URL that our Flask API is being hosted on, which is this one here, not local 888. So we'll get rid of that. And it's being hosted on this URL. We'll press run. It's connecting and now it's connected. So it's given us an, uh, a forwarding URL here. So essentially what it's doing is it's forwarding the data from this URL to our own personal network where we can then deal with the data. So if I now copy this like this and we paste it here, should bring up something from ngrok. Yeah, here. So we'll specify our slash get stat and we'll press enter and then we have to do visit site invalid password. Brilliant. Now, if we specify the password, equal the password, now it's being hosted on the internet. So uh, any network now can visit this URL and see these stats. Obviously, I'm gonna turn it off when the video ends, but uh, this is how then we are going to host our stats on a real website that looks a little bit nice, similar to certain dashboard softwares. Uh, and then that website can access our API to take our data similarly to how Amazon hold our data and we request it with an API so we can see it on their web page. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe and all of my links are in the description. If you have any suggestions or anything at all, leave it in the comments and I might just do it. Thank you very much.